Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Today we're going to talk about polymorphism. That is a pretty intimidating word when you come across it for the first time, but it's one of the main concepts of object-oriented programming. Um, polymorphism, if you break down the word, poly means many, morphism means forms or you know changing, so it pretty much means having many forms. And what this means and it has to do with inheritance. So I'm going to create two classes, one that extends the other. So I'm going to make a vehicle class. And I'm going to make a car class that extends vehicle class. And like I said, down here you can go to the super class and write vehicle, the class you're extending and it types it in for you automatically in Eclipse. So let's give this a method. I'm just going to say public void uh, description for a lack of finding a better word to use. I'm just going to print out a simple print statement. And it's going to say I am a vehicle. And I am going to override that method in here. You go down to source. If you don't feel like typing this out yourself, go to override implement methods. Click on the method you want to override, which is description in the vehicle class, and say OK. And if you just left this alone, it would print out the same exact thing in vehicle. It would call the super class and call the method description. But that's not what we want. We want to, the point of overriding it is to write your own a new um, uh, method with inside of it. So, system.out.println. Let's say I am a car. Okay. And we're also going to give a method that is not in vehicle, that is just in car, so I can show you easily some things that polymorphism can and cannot do. So right now we're just going to type some of that po uh, public void, um, I don't know, four tires. This is more specific to cars because most cars have four tires where a vehicle could have, you know, 18 wheeler has 18 wheels. So not every vehicle has four tires. So we're going to put this in the more descriptive class called car and we're just going to sys out Control Shift and Eclipse, and we are going to say, I have four tires. Now let's go and start instantiating these objects. So let's instantiate a vehicle. I'm just going to say V1, and that's just going to stand for vehicle equals new vehicle, and this is plain old just creating an object, a vehicle object. Remember this is the reference type, this is the reference variable and it points to creating this object. So let's do the same for a car. We'll say C1, I'll type car1, just I didn't feel like typing out view. I guess just for the sake of learning, let's see, put everything out long term. So we're going to say new car. All right, so if we said vehicle one dot, and we got all the methods that are available to us, the only ones that I wrote that aren't extended from the object class is this vehicle one description. But if I wanted to do car one dot have description, and I also have four tires. So it prints out all these methods. So now let's get into what polymorphism is. Polymorphism is, let's say that we wanted the reference type of vehicle, and we're going to call this vehicle2. I could point that to the variable car1 like that, and now it's pointing to a car object. 
So let's see what methods are available here. Vehicle two dot. You don't have the four tires method. You have the description method, and it's saying it's from the vehicle class. Let's just print this out. But it's saying I am a car. If it was from the vehicle class, it would have said I am a vehicle, but it's printing out the method in a car, which is I am a car. So the, so what's happening right now is I have a reference type right here. The variable type is vehicle. So it takes what a vehicle is, and I'm pointing it to the car object, but we can only use the methods that are in from the vehicle class. So that's polymorphism is, is it changing into a car yet it can't use the methods that aren't from the vehicle class and you don't always have to point it to an already existing car we could have also said equals new car that's perfectly legal uh, the best practice is to have the more the the more general class, I guess the parent class, or you know how many levels up in the hierarchy, this must be higher in the hierarchy than this for it to be polymorphism. If this was higher than this, you would start getting into casting issues, and it's not a very pretty sight, and it's it's not very useful. So think of it as calling from the parent, creating a parent class, and or a parent variable type and you can call it any subclass that you want. There's also a way of having a type from an interface and calling an object. Now let me create an interface real quick. So I'm going to be more specific than vehicle. Well, I guess I can say machine and we'll give this a method public void um print machine remember in an interface you don't instantiate the method you just declare the the method header and put a semicolon there and then you go to the class that you want to implement it and you say implements machine and go underneath vehicle and go to add unimplemented methods so it will automatically put this in there for you print machine and let's create let's just say system dot out dot print line I am a machine okay so now Let's create a machine reference type. I'm going to say machine one equals new vehicle. So let's see what what methods are available for us. Machine one dot. We have the print machine method. Let's see what happens. Well, it did exactly what you expected it to do. But pretty much, it's taking, it's creating a new vehicle class, and it's only using the methods that are available from the interface. So as you can tell, we didn't have the description method available to us. And that's pretty much the core of what polymorphism is, is being able to change the reference type to the object it points to. And we can also create a method down here. Let's say public static void. Um, let's see. Print. Just or let's say what am I? And it's going to take in. Let's say it takes in a vehicle. And what we're going to say is vehicle dot description because for each of these uh, classes, the description pretty much says what it is. I am a machine, or I am a vehicle, and I am a car. So we're going to say vehicle dot description. 
So let's see what we can pass into this method. What am I? Well, up here we can pass in vehicle 1 because obviously it takes in vehicles. Can we pass in car 1, which is a car class? Well, there's no errors, so it looks like we can. And here it is. Yes. So even though it's taking in a vehicle, because car is a subclass of it, it can take in uh, the car uh, car object, and it will print out the car's method. I am a car. Well, let's see about vehicle two, which has vehicle as the reference type and points to a car object. So let's see. Vehicle one. Oops. All right, run it. Say okay, and it says I am a vehicle. So even though this is a car, wait a minute. Let's say vehicle two. Okay, so now it's printing out I am a car. So it went to the override method and printed out I am a car because it's pointing to the car class and that's polymorphism is like I said I'm gonna repeat it again probably said it a hundred times this video the reference type can instantiate an object of itself or any subclass of itself or this can even be an interface that instantiates an object from the class that implements it uh, or a subclass from that class. So let's actually test that real quick and see if we could create a new car. Yeah, so you can you, you can say machine machine one dot well, it doesn't really give you much ah, uh, there it is. So let's see what happens. Alright, so when it says print machine, it's saying I am a machine and it gets passed down through the inheritance. So that's polymorphism. Um, probably a pretty long video. I'm not sure what the time is. But uh, the next video will be on abstract classes and I'll wrap up this object oriented uh, concepts. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.